Hi. How you doing? Are you good? Pretty good. What about yourself? Thank you for having me and for letting me um, ask my question. Uh, my English is not the best. I'm from Germany, but I'm curious. Um, look, I'm not in the position uh, and that's out of respect for my religion and not um, out of uh, being scared or something. I'm not able to answer specific questions about my religion, which I don't have a clue about. Okay, so I I, I came up to ask uh, about Christianity, if if that's fine with you. Like I'm I'm because I have that um, I have a question which nobody can really answer. And you talked about being honest, and I want to see if you are honest about the Bible. Um. My topic is the Quran confirms the Bible. Okay, but when I ask my question, you will see that my book doesn't confirm the Bible because the, what, what's written in the Bible is uh, contradictory to the Quran. I already, know, I already know that. Okay, so, so, so that, um, that means, hold on, uh, uh, is it, uh, how do I say your name, bro? Is it Fai Faisal? Faisal? Just say Faisal, Faisal. yeah. It's a cool name. Thank so with, with that being the case, the Quran actually <clears throat> contradicting the Bible, then that means that the Quran is false when it says it confirms it. Because it doesn't confirm it, it actually contradicts it. Contradicts it. Yeah. But you you already talk with like much more knowledgeable Muslim people, right? And they gave you the answer that... No, the, they, don't, they don't have answers to this. I mean, the, the I spoke, answer I know. I spoke, Faisal, I spoke to those knowledgeable people, yeah. and they do not have an answer to this. They don't have a response to this. In but they fact, say they yeah. avoid me because of it. The, they, they, uh, the answer I, I've heard about it like we believe in the Old Testament and the um, Injil, which, which is the New Testament, but those uh, books were, pres uh, were not preserved because uh, they just counted for that period of time and for those profits right right that's the answer i know i look faisal i know that that's the response the, exactly. my point is, my point is is that that is an inadequate it's a wrong response because the quran doesn't say that the quran says that the scriptures the torah and the Injil, are preserved and are good for judgment and to believe in even during muhammad's time that, that's what the quran says yes the Quran sure. says the Bible and the Old Testament is preserved for uh, eternity. Yes. Okay. So look, I'll show you this. This is what the Quran says. <clears throat> yeah. And Let's once again, I, I don't, I don't have the tafsir. I don't. Yeah, uh, yeah it's okay, bro. It's, uh, you don't got to. Curious, like I've never yeah, yeah, heard of that. You don't have to give an answer or anything like that. We just, yeah. I'll just show you what I have, and you know, you can do research on it later. Okay. Yeah. So look. Sure. So it started at chapter 2, verse 40, right? So it says, chapter 2, verse 40. Mm -hmm. O children of Israel, remember my favor which I bestowed upon you and fulfill my covenant so that I fulfill your covenant and fear none but me. Mm -hmm. And it continues. And believe in what I have sent down, this Quran, right? Mm -hmm. Confirming that which is with you. Mm-hmm the Torah and the Injil. Yes. And be not the first to disbelieve therein. Don't disbelieve. The Quran. The Quran. Well, yeah. Absolutely. It doesn't say disbelief in the gospel. It, it's, well, no, uh, it, look, it just it, said it confirms the Torah and the gospel. Yeah, but but it's it's um, this is directed to the Quran, not to the gospel and the Torah. No, it's look, the reason why they should believe in the Quran, it says mm -hmm. believe in this in this what I sent down talking about the Quran. Yeah, confirming that which is with you of the Torah and the Gospel. So they yeah. have the Torah and the Gospel with them. It's preserved with yeah, them. Yeah, but the but the second sentence uh, or this uh, the other words and be not the first to believe therein uh, is referring to the Quran, not to the Gospel. No, this says talking about the Gospel. No. And be not the first to disbelieve therein. Yeah, but the the starting point is the Quran, so it's not the Gospel. It's all of it. You can't reject any of it. I mean, I mean, yeah, but uh, we don't reject it. We actually. You do. You, you're literally telling me that the Bible, the Torah, and the Gospel yeah. are corrupt right now. That they're lost. Yeah, they're but gone. They, they are not not preserved. So well, therefore, this, this, that's my point, Faisal. This says that they are. This says that the Torah and the Gospel are currently with the Jews and the Christians. What yeah, but is with that me? was yeah that was revealed at that time, and at that time maybe the Gospel and the Torah 
were uh, not touched and uh, oh, okay beautiful now watch, watch this so the torah and the gospel during the time of muhammad is preserved up until then right maybe maybe that, i mean well, not maybe explanation. i would yeah not that, maybe this is this what it's what it says right or yeah. let me ask you this let's just make okay. sense of this let's say yeah. let's say that that the torah and the gospel were corrupted at this time yeah. would allah say that he's confirming that which is with them if it's corrupted no i mean look I, that's uh, okay can you read the quran uh, the, the verse again yeah because so, i can't yeah and believe in what i have sent down yeah confirming that which is with you mm -hmm. and be not the first to disbelieve therein yeah confirming that which is with you could also be referring to the quran or the verses that he uh, revealed it's to talk, them let's talk look no confirming which is with you is not talking about the quran the quran is the thing that's sent down that's confirming what's with them the torah and the mm -hmm. gospel mm -hmm. okay so these are two different things but yeah. they're supposed to believe in it all Basically, yeah. this verse is saying that the Jews and the Christians, yeah. specifically the Jews, don't have a reason to reject the Quran because the Quran confirms their book. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, look, uh, I I don't I don't know you personally, um, but you um, the people watching your stream. I don't uh, understand. Like first, when I came up, I already told they. Like I'm not a knowledgeable person. I'm not somebody who can explain the Quran or knows the context. I was just <clears> here to ask a question, and these people are spamming like, uh, "Oh, he doesn't know she is like this." Guys, I already told that I'm not the person to explain the Quran, and I'm. Not, uh, if me, I say me, something which is let contradictory, let me, let, me or, let, me, yeah. let me just let me just go ahead. Yeah, they're Since very disrespectful. Like comments, this is, are, uh, comments are, a dis are are just a distraction right now. So let's just yeah. focus. Okay, uh, I'm, okay I'm, gonna you, turn the, I'm gonna turn the comments off just for a second, just for yeah. this. Yeah. Okay, so let's just focus on our conversation. All right. So, so according to this, bro, right? Mm -hmm. They. The Torah and the gospel is true and is there in the possession of the Jews and Christians, according to the Quran. Mm -hmm. That's what it says. And they have to believe in all of it. Quran, yeah. their books, everything. They got to believe and in all of it. And what is the explanation from uh, the shuyukh that you talked with? What were their response? I'm, I'm sure they gave you a response. What, what were their response? They don't have one. They don't have one. They, they just have They said we have no response? They have nothing. Dude, dude this is what Beyond. they say. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I promise you, Faisal. They say, they start off yeah. with saying exactly what you said. Okay. That we believe in the original Torah and the original gospel, All but right. it's been corrupted. They corrupted the text and yada, yeah. yada, yada. So this is why they can't answer Quran oh. verses like this. All right. Yeah, but that's. They just repeat yeah. what they said. All right. Now, now you you brought up um, uh, it's a fair uh, fair argument of yours. I I don't have the um, answer. I don't I don't think that this is like proving that um, the Quran is wrong or anything uh, in that matter. Um, but uh, I don't have the answer to it. I'm I'm just being no honest to my own religion. You know? Yeah, of course. Cannot, of course. Yeah. I'm, of course. I'm just, yeah. Let me show um, you the problem. Let me tell you the problem. So remember. Yeah when we started off by saying that <clears throat> that the quran actually doesn't confirm my bible it actually contradicts it right yeah. there's contradictions between the two that's the problem the problem is that the quran says that it confirms the bible okay however it contradicts the bible all right so that means Not that this, this claim of the quran is false okay now I'm gonna be. Uh, you said nobody gave you an answer, and everybody like was they, like. They we tried don't to have give an answer. It's just inadequate. Okay, Their inadequate. Now, now I'm asking you about the Bible, and I hope, I hope, because you you are much more knowledgeable about your book than I am about my book, which is clear. I don't I don't know Arabic. I don't. I'm not this um, student of knowledge. Um, I have a simple question: Is is Jesus? the the god of um uh, like do you believe in the trinity of course Je okay jesus, so G jesus is god the holy ghost is god and the father right yeah 
Okay, and Jesus became flesh out of mercy for mankind, so he can live with people and preach and uh, be a good example or the right example to follow, right? Yeah, but I don't know why we're shuffling over here to the deity of Christ or the Trinity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I'm just, go I'm, I'm just gonna make sure that you uh, uh, that Jesus is um, like um, like we are talking about the uh, same person and out of mercy uh, for mankind because no, mankind is sinful. You're shuffling over to this to yeah, the he's, subject. He's, he sacrificed himself, right? Hold on. Why are we shuffling over to the deity of Christ when the yeah. topic is that the Quran confirms the no, Bible? I give you that. I give you. I give you that. I, I, I give you that. Uh, maybe. Maybe I'm out of topic. But please, because I'm seriously, I'm not uh, trying to debate. Oh, my, uh, my team is better than your team. I'm not like that. You know, I'm. I'm seriously well, right, trying to before, understand. So this is what, this is what I like to do before yeah. I finish a topic. I like or go move on to another thing. Yeah. I'd like to conclude on what I was talking about at least. So it seems like you're being honest so far. So we'll, yeah. you know, time will tell and, and reveal it. God will reveal everything. But do you see that? Do you see the problem at least that I'm I bringing? Mean, I mean, unless, honest to God, unless I hear to somebody knowledgeable, a sheikh, uh, which is known for his knowledge, right? Give a detailed answer to your um, uh, accusation. I would uh, be silent about it, but it's a good point. It's a fair point. It's definitely a point to discuss about, but I didn't have the answer or I didn't uh, listen to this uh, specific topic. So I remain silent because I don't know. Seriously, I don't know. All right. Right. So I'll, I'll, I'll conclude it with this and then we can move on to, to yeah, sure. your question about Jesus. No problem. <clears throat> our, our argument as Christians is that this very thing falsifies the Quran. Because mm -hmm. the Quran, and not just in that place, a lot of places, bro, a lot of places, it says the same thing, that the Torah and the gospel and the writings of the prophets, that they're true, that it, the Quran confirms them, that we are to judge by it and live by it. We have nothing to stand on unless we stand on our scriptures that's with us in our possession, mm -hmm. in our hands, right? Um, and it mm -hmm. confirms it. However, if we actually read these scriptures, we see that the Quran actually contradicts these scriptures. So that okay. means that the Quran is false when it says that it confirms these scriptures because it actually doesn't, it contradicts them. So that shows that the Quran is false. Here's another All right. This is a back, back link. Yeah. If these books are false, let's say these books are corrupted and false, then the Quran would be still false because it's saying that false and corrupted scriptures are true. Mm -hmm. So it's double whammy. Either okay. side, it doesn't work. So you want to do your research on that later on? Oh, uh, I'm definitely going to do that because I, I'm not a Muslim because my parents are some Muslims and I have a Muslim name or I look like an Arab or whatever. I'm Muslim because I believe in it, right? So uh, every time I see a topic like, uh, which like, uh, or critical um, topic or point, I'm going to ask about it. I'm, I'm not scared about uh, finding out the truth right you, you shouldn't be uh, scared of god so that, that aside uh, i give that uh, argument to you sure why not because i don't have the answer but um the 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 um, is, so jesus is depicted very merciful like all merciful god he was so loving and caring and he also teaches us to love your enemy is that right mm -hmm. okay is jesus the god who uh, is Jesus the God of Moses? Yep. Okay, so Jesus revealed the Old Testament to Moses. Yep. All right. So if we have that merciful Jesus who sacrificed himself and died for our sins and was so uh, teached all of this, um, don't uh, do this and love your enemy, etc. How come that the same Jesus is asking for the people in the Old Testament to go and murder children, babies and animals. And the answer I have heard so far was because that group of people were very sinful for over 400 years. God had um, patience with them and all, all, always uh, tried to convince them to the right path. They, d they denied. So God's punishment was uh, basically genocide. He, come, he, he asked other people to go there and kill 
babies, infants, and even animals and women. And my question to you, is that not contradiction? Is, is that not the biggest contradiction in the picture of Jesus? If you say he sacrificed himself for all of our sins, but a few hundred years earlier, he asked other people to murder babies and children. Okay. So no, it's not because God has judgment. Um, and you got the correct answer. Uh, he cast his judgment upon a people um, and wiped them out. <clears throat> so um, God can have judgment and mercy on who he decides to have judgment and mercy on. And even still with him coming down in the flesh and dying for our, our sins, mm -hmm. uh, he's, his judgment will still fall on those who have not repented and believed in him uh, and, and taken his sacrifice. So okay. Okay. Those, those, those who continue to reject him and disobey him will mm -hmm. also suffer the fate of his wrath, just like the Amalekites did. Um, just like the people during, um, during uh, the flood did. Like, for example, you, you, believe, you believe that God is merciful and, and loving and gracious and forgiving, right? Right. Um, and yet this, this God, this merciful God, uh, who's gracious, the most merciful, the Quran says, um, flooded the world. Yeah, uh, but I have a very, uh, there, there's a big difference, and I'm going to tell you the difference. What's, what's the difference? The difference here is, the difference, yeah. Yeah, the difference here is God Himself takes life and gives life. We agree to that. Every, uh, the, I, Abrahamic, I still don't see the difference. Yeah, uh, no, God is the one who gives and takes life. If He makes an atrocity, like, for example, like you said, the flood, which in which everybody was wiped out, then he is the one who takes the life. But if God asks other human beings to go there and babies, that's not the same, my friend. Yeah, that's a big me, difference. Uh, tell me what the difference is, because the it's difference still, is it's still an act and an order by God, where right. he's the one who's taking life. Okay, the difference is because we as humans have emotions. If I go up to somebody and um, like uh, say, he, he no, committed no, no, a big you, crime. You, sorry, you, you saying that people have emotions doesn't tell me what the difference is where God floods the earth yeah. or where he orders someone to unalive someone. The, the what difference is, the, is... What's the difference here? Because I, I, I see both is, is God's wrath is still the being... The difference is, if, if, you, if you come up to a child, right, would you be able to murder me in his we, bed? We got we to gotta be careful with these words. Got to say unalive. Say un oh, yeah, yeah. Until. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, if if you uh, would you be able to do what God asks you to do? I will do whatever God asks me to do. Okay. If He commands would, would you, you to you, do that, do, wait. Let me ask you the same question. Would you do yeah. what God asks you to do? If He uh, He uh, look. The difference is if He uh, co uh, if He what God would you? No, I'm I'm gonna answer. I'm so gonna answer. You see how was, I, I answered you very simply. So just yeah, answer. I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna would answer. You, it's a yes or no. If, would you do what God asked you to do? Yes or no? No, it would be a contradiction to my belief because God says I'm all merciful and asking no. for murdering a child is not say mercy. Unalive. Gotta say unalive. Unalive. So, yeah. yeah. And asking for that, it's not mercy. So, it's, okay. It has nothing to do so, with mercy. Okay, good. So did Allah unalive babies during the flood when he flooded the world? Yeah, but it was him. Was that merciful? It was out of mercy, of, of course. Oh, it's out of mercy that he unalived yes. the baby in the flood? Okay. So yeah. it's out of mercy. Okay, good. So but he didn't thing. say, look, hold on, hold on. The, hold on. Yeah. same thing. He yeah. was, he's the same it's thing. It's not the same. He's, he's merciful when he unalives, when he yeah. unalives, or orders a nation to be unalived and there's infants involved, when he's yeah. taking them back to himself, he's being yeah. merciful to the children, stopping them from growing up and being a, another sinful nation just like their parents. All right. He's merciful in that way. I can say the same thing. Yeah, but he is not asking other people to do that, uh, to whether do his job. Other, whether he asks other people or whether he does it by some supernatural act himself. You don't, you don't see any difference? His wrath, his wrath and his judgment is being carried out. Okay, but you, you, you look, the difference is, if you say he is all merciful, he did all of these things, he cru crucified himself, he, 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 he died for our sins, and then you say he... He, he commanded other people to, to unalive children. That's a big contradiction, my friend. How and, can and you again, deny and that? Again you, haven't, again, you haven't displayed that because all, you have, all, you, all you're doing to me, bro, is yeah. showing that you are just complaining about how God carries out his wrath and his justice. Of course it's important. Okay. Of so course. If, you're, if you're saying 
you, yeah. you just have a problem with the way that God carries out his wrath. Yeah, sure. Then, then that's on that, that that's on you. That's I, look, if God if God asks other people to unalive babies, animals and women, that's not merciful. That is no, I, don't, I don't believe I don't that believe is that barbaric. God is, I don't believe that God is all merciful, neither do you, because your your Quran shows that yeah. God has his wrath, his yeah. justice. Yeah. His condemnation yeah. handed out, uh, handed out on a on a nation. Yeah. Your God does this all throughout the Quran. So if you're saying that God yeah. is wrong for handing out His justice and His mercy and His wrath, no, it's children, it's how He does it. The method that He does it, then you're wrong. Then if He asks other people then to just, honor like children, just, that's barbaric. Okay, I'm, okay my good. Friend, I'm so sorry. Then you, so then you just condemned Allah again because He how? because He had someone unalive a child in the Quran. Which, who? Let me show you the verse. Okay, who? Let me show you the verse really quick. Guys, what's that verse again where Allah unalives, has someone unalive a, ch uh, a kid? What's I, that verse? I've never heard of that. I know you haven't. It's okay. It's, yeah. and, and either you're going to be consistent yeah. and condemn Allah no. for being an, an, uh, an unmerciful, wrathful, evil God, a contradictory if God. God or, if God tells or, other... Or, yeah. or you're going to say, you know what? My book says that, so okay. You know what? That that's okay then. No problem. No, 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 no. I'm gonna ask. Uh, I'm gonna question that because it's a big contradiction. It's okay. a big contradiction. If right. if right. like, do do we agree that babies are uh, innocent? I believe that God can take life and He can give life whenever oh, He chooses. Oh, you believe in the, 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 you are born with the sin, right? It's His creation. So did they're you just all hear sinful. So therefore, they can did you hear my be answer? punished. Did you, hear, did you hear my answer? Yeah. Okay, good. So, so don't. Okay, like, show me the verse in which Allah commands other people to or other life children. I got you. It's uh, chapter eighteen, verse what, guys? Seventy-four. Okay, oh, man, here you, it is. Have, you have some toxic community. <laughs> I swear they they have some mental problems. I'm uh, sorry. I just uh, you know. Uh, I'm very sorry. I mean, you are very respectful so far. Uh, you conduct yourself very good, but these people are like. Uh, Relax, don't guys. worry about the comments, bro. Don't worry about the yeah. comments. It's uh, you gotta gotta have tough skin on, on online, you know. You know, I'm, I'm like they're they're going crazy. <laughs> so look, watch this, chapter eighteen, verse seventy-four. Yeah. They both proceeded till they met a boy, mm -hmm. and he kinder, yeah, unalived him. Mm -hmm. Mosa said, "Have you unalived an innocent person who had mm -hmm. unalived no one?" Mm -hmm. Very. You have committed a thing that is dreadful. Mm -hmm. Verse 75, he responds, did I not, did I not tell you that you yeah. can have no patience with me? Yeah. Moses said, if I ask you anything after this, keep me not in your company. You have received an excuse from me. Okay, so, what was the reaction of Musa? Uh, that, that he did an evil thing. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Now, now so, watch this. Watch okay. this. Thing, because it's Allah who yeah. told Kader to mm -hmm. unalive that boy. Mm -hmm. It's Allah who did, who told him to do that. Now yeah, why? but, but, okay, but, okay. Keep going. There is no but. <clears throat> where's, uh, where's that, where's that other verse, guys? We don't know we should punish him. Ah, it's verse 80. I think it is. Mm -hmm. Ah, here it is. Verse 80, and as for the boy, his parents were believers. This is all mm -hmm. I'm speaking. As for mm -hmm. the boy, his parents were believers. And mm -hmm. we feared lest he should oppress them by rebellion and disbelief. Mm -hmm. So Allah had the boy unalived by Kidder because yeah. Allah feared that he would uh, oppress his parents and cause them to go into rebellion and disbelief. Okay. So is Allah a contradiction here? No, uh, hmm. I don't see the contradiction because ah. there's a. Uh, look, I'm I'm gonna I'm, I'm I'm trying to explain it to you. Okay. See? So one, you have a very specific single instance in which ah. God. No, no, no. Look, one is committing, uh, like one is killing mm. a boy, not see, a I'm baby. Alive. Uh, there, there's it. Yeah, he's, not, a child. Not, not a, he's a child. He's a child. He's a boy, an but, innocent boy who's did, did done yeah. nothing. Oh, oh, sure, sure, sure. So no, Moses no, no. Said. It doesn't say that he didn't do anything. Oh, really? Let's go back to what no. Moses said. Moses. 
it's Moses. Yeah, it's it what Moses believes. Moses said, yeah. "Have you unalived an innocent person who had unalived no one?" Yeah. So Barely it's you more. Have done it's, a dreadful yeah. thing. Yeah. It's how Moses thinks of that boy. So the prophet is wrong here. Yeah, the prophet thinks that the boy is a good boy, but he he's is not. Good. He's innocent. He hasn't done anything. No. So look, he is. Yeah. Look, 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 look. The reason why Allah has him unalived is mm -hmm. because he feared that mm -hmm. he might uh, oppress his his parents and mm -hmm. cause them to rebel and disbelieve. He hasn't done okay. this yet. He hasn't done anything. All right. That's that, no. I give you that. Uh, but I still see a big difference in uh, committing genocide to a whole nation what is the, and wait, wait, wait. killing problem, infants. No, your problem. And Faisal, doing Faisal. Uh, that in a uh, single circle. You said you were going to be honest, Faisal. You yeah, said you were going to be honest. Of course. Of course so you course. said you said yeah. the problem mm -hmm. with that you have yeah. with God in the Bible yeah. sending out his judgment on the Amalekites yeah. is that he ordered other people to do it genocide. for Genocide. Yeah, genocide. That he ordered other people, instead of him doing it yeah. himself, he yeah. ordered other people to unalive mm -hmm. babies. Mm -hmm. While in the when it when it comes to the flood, it was his own supernatural act that yeah. unalived babies and, and things of this nature. So your <laughs> only problem, your mm -hmm. problem was whether yeah. all was whether God does it by supernatural works himself or yeah. if he has a, he, if he orders other humans I got you. to do that. I got you. Yeah, so you, here you, you have Allah yeah. do, having another human, ordering mm -hmm. another human to do the act. Yeah, you have a point here. No, I'm not a hypocrite. You have a point, clearly you have a point. But I see, I, uh, I see the differences here. It's, it's a very specific person and a, um, a test for the prophet Musa. So it's not like uh, people go a out there and Moses commit genocide. Is. No, 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 come on. Yeah, Man. it's a very specific. Uh, yeah, come it's a very on. specific circumstance, and it's Bible. not like the Bible says go there and commit genocide and kill. It's a, it's a very specific nation. Yeah. It's a specific nation. It's the Amalekites. He doesn't do yeah. that to anyone else. Yeah, but killing everybody, every baby and infant, it's different to That's killing a boy. Specifically, who, who, the Amalekites. So he does this specifically person. to the yeah. nation of Amalek, yeah. a specific nation. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. That, that sounds barbaric to me. And killing okay, somebody. Okay, so then Allah is barbaric. No, no, but because Allah doesn't commit co command to kill in an entire nation so, by the hands see, of see, other see, people. This is where, Faisal, yeah. this is where, this yeah. is where your hypocrisy comes out. I'm not because I knew. I knew that as soon as I sh and I said this. Yeah. yeah. I said that as soon as I show you this, yeah. you're either going to backtrack and say well no you know this is okay um or you will be honest and consistent and just throw all out under the bus as well no no but so because, however you've done yeah. you've done the first thing i said you're going to do which is make an excuse for it but mm -hmm. now since you made an excuse for allah but, but how no does that how did i make an excuse I, no i didn't make an excuse you are. Because I clearly say it's the command of God. It was a specific circumstance for the prophet who was going through hardship. It wasn't a prophet. Kedar is not a prophet. Moses who? is a prophet. Moses didn't unalive the, the Yeah, the, but the it child. was a, it, it, yeah, it, it was a test for the prophet to be patient. And Mo Moses no, failed. It, wasn't a test. it doesn't say that. You're adding no, to the course. test. Listen, Khidr in the Islamic uh, uh, teaching was a test for Musa. He That's came not what down. It that's not yeah, what it says. Well, of course, but in the context and in, in the overall picture, Musa the overall was picture tested. Shows that, the overall picture shows that yeah. Moses was had Moses? enough morality yeah. to condemn someone for saying yeah. that uh, somebody's unaliving an innocent boy, a yeah. child. Yeah, the, 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 um, the test was about Moses' patience. So, so how patient so, so, he would be. Uh, enough, enough of that. So are you yeah. willing to admit your hypocrisy here or not? No, I'm not a hypocrite. My friend, listen, I'm, okay, I'm good. So anything if you're not a hypocrite, a hypocrite. If you're not a hypocrite, I'm not scared there's of nothing you. wrong. I'm not, yeah. you're, if you're, okay, good, Faisal. If you're yeah. not a hypocrite, yeah. there's nothing wrong with God mm -hmm. handing out his judgment even yeah. through someone else. Okay, you know human. what I do? You know what I do? Because I'm not the hypocrite and I'm very honest and God knows my heart and he knows what type of person I am. I'm not saying that because of these uh, uh, mentally sick people here, but as long as I don't have the 
right explanation and the right reason or the the contra it's it, it's it is a contradiction if i bring up that argument about the bible and then the quran says the same uh, unless i do not have a right answer for that thing i will not bring that argument up ever again that's how honest i am right yeah. so if 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 by the end the islamic point of view is exactly the same like the bible point of view i will shut my mouth and i will think about it and that's what i can tell you but i'm not going to sit here and accept oh you're a hypocrite because i'm not a hypocrite i'm not scared about my i i stand by my religion i'm convinced by my religion i'm not uh, t saying these words to convince anybody but as long as i don't have a, a better answer or a clear answer to why there's a difference i will shut my mouth that's it all right that's All fair right. enough now since we're talking about bar barbaric activities can i show you something that's barbaric in the quran barbaric in the quran yeah something that you won't be able to say oh your bible I mean, has this i mean i mean i mean uh, uh, when i watch the debates with ahmadidad and uh, christian pastors he 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 picked and chose many things about the Bible, which are barbaric, and that's only one one of the arguments that uh, Muslims bring up. So it's not like, oh, uh, it, this shouldn't be like, um, oh, you're, you're uh, I'm gonna show you now what, you know? If you're following Ahmadidat, you're in trouble. My friend, look, I, I'm a very logical person, and I've never seen a single debate in which Ahmadidat looked bad. And okay. I'm just gonna be honest. No worries. So yeah. let me um, let me actually show you what the Quran says. Is that okay? Yeah, of course, it's my book. Of course. Right, but but book, once again, book. but once again, look. If you show me what the Quran says, I'm not the right person to explain the verses. So you're just uh, convincing you good. viewers, and you you feel good about it. But I'm not the right no, person no. to uh, to ask. Five, five. Look, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, gonna, I'm not, I'm not yeah. here. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want your explanation. You yeah. know what I'm saying? On yeah. these things that I'm going to show you or the yeah. things that I have shown you. Yeah. I don't want your explanation because I've studied enough on these and I've heard, had conversations with knowledgeable people, mm -hmm. Muslims, mm -hmm. and, and studied the tafsir, things of this nature, to mm -hmm. know that there is no explanation. There is none. Yeah, but but out of respect for my religion, I would uh, I would pa I would pass on that. Why? Not because I I'm scared of the Quran. I have the Quran in my home. I, I I've read a lot of verses, etc. But uh, to not feed this uh, this community uh, more hatred, and uh, if if you uh, if you read out the the verse. And I don't have an explanation, and I'm uh, just sit there like a child, and I'm like, oh, 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 my God, that's not a good look. I'm not stupid, so I would well, rather be quiet. This, man. We're 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 two grown adults, two yeah. grown men talking. Okay, yeah. so you have convictions, I have convictions. We have yeah. morality and a mindset, you know, that we that we have. So <laughs> um, we know ourselves. So these just, guys, <laughs> these guys you, are so funny. You was able, you was able to point to something. That you thought was in, was incoherent, that you thought yes. was wrong, and that you yeah. thought was barbaric, right? Yeah. So you have enough sense to be able to do that. So let's yeah. do, let's continue to do that. Um, do you believe that child uh, sexual relations is okay? Child sexual, uh, you mean like without consent and being immature? A grown man having relations, sexual relations with an immature girl. Immature girl without uh, puberty. Yeah, but yeah, without puberty. Yeah, of course it's wrong. Okay, good. So your Quran says this. This is chapter mm -hmm. 65, verse 4. Yeah. The Quran permits sexual relations with a kid before puberty. Mm -hmm. So chapter 65, verse 4 says, And those of your women as have passed the age of monthly course. This, this is talking about divorce. Okay, so how mm -hmm. when you your wives, this is how you deal with it. And those of your uh, your women as have passed the age of monthly courses, for them, the idda is a waiting period. If you have doubts, it's three months. So those are the ones who are too old to menstruate, to have their periods, mm -hmm. right? So when you divorce them, they have to wait three months before they move on to the next man mm -hmm. or to make sure they're not pregnant, okay? 
Mm -hmm. And for those who have no courses. Now, the commentator says, i.e., they are still immature. Their idda is three months likewise, mm -hmm. right? And for those who are pregnant, you know, their, their idda is when they basically give up their, they have the baby. Okay, so, so come to the point. Yeah, so here's the point here. So this is divorcing, is, talks about three categories of women, three categories. The mm -hmm. older women who are too old to menstruate, you're divorcing them. And you're also divorcing girls who have not menstruated yet at all. They haven't hit puberty yet. They're still immature. Yeah, but th but that's that's your uh, explanation of the verse. No, it's not my explanation. It's what it says. Yes. It's no, what, no, it, no. Look, is, is it is it me that says, i.e., they are still immature? Is that me, or is that the commentator in the Quran? I don't know. The uh, I don't know. I I don't even know if that's the right verse you're uh, quoting to. It's I chapter mean, the commentator. It's four, bro. It's it's Surah look, Talaq. It's the look, chapter look. of divorce. Look, I don't know. I don't know about. Uh, I don't know about the explanation of the verse. What I know for sure. Look, listen. What I know for sure that it is an ijma and consensus of every scholar of Islam that you cannot marry without uh, the woman being mature, uh, That's not having true. puberty. Listen, That's having not true. puberty. That's and not true. Being mentally stable that's uh, not to true. judge no, about no, right no, and wrong no, i don't know where you got that from look, not, no 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 no, no I, I have to show you this because no, look now i have to yeah, show you this your explanation of the verse no no, no, no i'm, I'm not, a, gonna, I'm not giving I, you mine guys am i am i giving my own explanation or am i just look, reading the, 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 you you can thing? read the book uh, you can read all right so let's see if it's my own let's let's see let's see what you're talking let's go to the tough seer yeah let's see the explanation to show you it's not mine Let's just Look, read. But, you but, but but you 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 really don't want to listen to what I say. If you had somebody, you don't have anything to say. Just you just yeah, said because you pick. You don't you don't yeah, have, you, you don't know the explanation on, on this. Look, and look, you just gave I, me a misconception. Y listen, you don't know about this. Okay, listen. Can can I speak or you want to have a monologue? You just finished saying what you're saying. Now I'm about to show you this. Why waste time? Let no, me just I'm show not you the explanation. Finished. I'm not finished. Okay, go ahead. Look. Finish. Go ahead. Finish. You, so I can show you. You, the you move. You move is very cowardly because you know oh, that there I'm are. A okay, I'm. I'm. I'm saying. I'm, I have to say that because you know that there are people we'll see who's who a can. In a second. Oh my God! Can I finish we'll my sentence? Coward. Yeah, I'm just saying. Go ahead, Faisal. We're going to see who's a coward. Go yeah. ahead. Because you are discussing these very specific topics which need context which need learn it, uh, uh, learning and you're to discussing it with regular muslims and you know that they don't they cannot explain the verse and that's cowardly and that's okay. what i'm saying you you right, want got to you. tell me you don't you want to tell me that no sheikh has ever given you an, a right explanation of that correct you know, that's, actually, that's, actually that, that's actually wrong. Sorry, um, excuse me. That's actually wrong. I spoke to one sheikh. Yeah. I spoke to him for a few hours on this. <laughs> and you want to know what he said to me? Well, I spoke to him at Balboa. And it's not Uthman. Which sheikh? Which sheikh? Uh, his name is Ali, but, you know, Ali I can't. What? I don't I can't, know Ali. I can't say. I can't say. He's, he's, our, private, our conversation was private. He likes to be private. But, <laughs> but he's not a sheikh just well, he because he's Ali. He is, he is a shake. He is a shake. Okay. And so he told me, he was like, yes, this, this is the correct, this is the ruling. Yes, that's what it says. Um, and, and that's, and that's, that's the Sharia. That's the law. You are you know? lying, my friend. Okay, I, 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 God is my so, witness. So now, hey guys, so now I'm a God cow. God is my witness that you are not. No worries. So now are you done now? Are you done with this? So now let's see who the, so Ibn Kathir, let's see if it's my explanation or do you <laughs> say this? Do your scholars say this, Faisal? Yeah. Yeah, let's, see. let's see. The idda of those in menopause mm -hmm. and those who do not have menses. Uh-oh. Allah the Exalted clarifies the waiting period of the woman in menopause. And that is one whose menstruation has stopped due to her older age. Huh? Sounds like exactly what we read in the text. Her idda, her yeah. waiting period, is three months instead of the three monthly cycles for those who menstruate, which is based upon the ayah, chapter 2, verse 228. You ready mm -hmm. for this? Watch. The same for the young. Who young woman. not reached the years of menstruation. Mm -hmm. There it is three months like those in menopause. This is the meaning 
of his saying. So where where does it say it's a child? No the same for the young Woman. who have not reached the years okay. of menstruation. Okay, on top it said the old woman and here it says the young woman. What's wrong yes, with that? Yes, because the verse is talking about three categories of females. The mm -hmm. first category are the ones who are too old to menstruate. The second category are the ones who are too young to menstruate. The third mm -hmm. category are the pregnant women. <laughs> I swear, I swear, I'm, I'm, I have to laugh about these people. I mean, they are mentally so sick. Guys, I, like I told you at the start, I'm not the right person. I'm feeding that guy. He can have his few minutes because he is talking to a wall. I don't have the answer. I don't, I don't even know Arabic. Faisal, I'm not, Arabic. Faizo, you, I'm not asking you, dude, stop, you're stop you're addressing the comments. Faisal, 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 yeah. Faisal, stop addressing the comments. Focus on the conversation. Yeah, I'm but not that's asking your community. you, Faisal, pay attention. Yeah. I'm not asking you to give me an answer on this. Or yes, you are. This. Yes, you they are. are. I no, don't, I, no, I'm not. I, I cannot. No, I'm not. Faizo, I yeah. let you speak. Just hold on a second and hear what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I don't expect you to give me an explanation. I've spoken to people more knowledgeable than you that mm -hmm. cannot give an explanation for this. They actually, that's a lie. Either that they, they say they, they are honest and say, yes, that's what it says, or they lie and say, no, that's not what it says. It's, it's and, either and you, two. You, Oh, yeah. So this is what it, look, this is Ibn Kathir. Yeah. This isn't me. This isn't God logic. This isn't Avery Austin. This isn't study to show. This isn't none of us. This is uh, Ibn Who was the He's sheikh you always debated on YouTube? Who was that guy? Uh, sheikh, so, um, stop, stop asking about all of that. This is what matters. No, stop talk to him. about all of that. This talk is what to him. matters. I'm sure 100%. So according to Ibn Kathir, Faizo, according yeah. to Ibn Kathir, he says this is talking about young kids who haven't who have not hit puberty yet, right? No. All young right, woman. So you, all right. So when you say no, young you say woman, no, not that's young not kids. What he's saying? Then you can yeah. tell me what he is saying then. Young now, woman, not young kids. Thing. It's not young kids. It's young woman. Okay. So who are who are young kids? Who are who are the young who have not reached years of menstruation? Who are they? I don't know. Maybe they are sick. Maybe they have uh, other issues. I, I, like I said, you're asking wait, wait, wait. me about the verse. I cannot explain to you. So what Why does, are you asking? They have not that? reached the. See, this is my. This is where. This is where we get here, bro. Yeah. Now you're being the coward, because as a because coward, you can't read what's in front of you. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, if if you if I does come it, up does to it a, say if I come up to does it say that they haven't reached the years of menstruation or does it say that they were sick? Which okay. one does it say? Well, would you say? Would you say if somebody comes up and takes uh, Bible verses without Faisal, the right explanation? Faisal, does it say that they're sick, uh, or does it say they haven't reached the years of menstruation? Which what yeah, does but the reason why they didn't reach is not mentioned, so it could what be because they're the sick. Reason? The same for the young woman. It says young. Yeah, but it doesn't say young men, young young children. See, so Faisal, you're making this is things the move here. This is the move now. You are the because you are just putting words in, into the verse, which are not I'm, there. Hey, guy, you hear that? You're I'm putting words into the text. I'm putting Where does words it say young into child? the text. <laughs> Where does it say young child? Where? Right. Hey, hey listen. So this, this is the limit of it. So you 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 take a look yeah, at you this. Fed, you fed take your this, ego. Take you this to whoever ego. it is. Hold on, mute yeah. I'm talking. You take this to whoever you think is knowledgeable. Take this to whatever sheikh or imam that you uh, feel you trust. And take this to them. Now, you said that you're logical. You said that you're honest. You said that you're not a hypocrite. Yet you demonstrated all of the above is false. That you are a hypocrite, that you are dishonest. No, you, you're not you, logical. You, look, but look, let's see. When yeah. you go home mm -hmm. and you go to your masjid on Friday, you go, <laughs> to do, you go to the Fajr prayer or whatever it's called. Yeah. Go to the prayer. Wait mm -hmm. until the sheikh is done talking. Wait <clears> until <throat> your mom is done leading you in yeah. prayer and take him show him this verse, bring yeah. him Ibn Kathir, what he said about it, and yeah. say, please, can you explain this to me? I'm sure, look, and, and, and now I'm going to tell you, I'm sure 100% that you talked about these things, and it's even on YouTube, I think, with Sheikh um, Usman, I think. I'm 100% sure. I haven't spoken to Usman about this. I, I don't know, but I'm 100% sure you brought that up and they gave you the explanation, but you leave their explanation out and you say, yeah, they, it's just like it is. Because yes, if it was I, like and that. I, and I'm 100% and I'm sure yeah. that you, because you're a Muslim mm -hmm. and it's embedded in you, that you have to lie about your text 
You have to try to make excuses for your text, look, and look, you have I'm to be dishonest lie. with your own text. Look, if if as I if Muslim, I was dishonest, have, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. So as a I'm Muslim, not. instead of giving the Christian prop, saying, "You know what, Mister Christian, my imams and my sheikhs never talk to me about this." No, and this, I'm is, learning not, this, for this the first is not. This is not about Mister Christian. Me, excuse me, I'm talking. Excuse me, I'm talking. Okay, I'm learning this for the first time from you, but as a Muslim. Since I am a Muslim, I have to say, even though I know nothing about this, I have to just assume, even though you read what is in your face, I know I have about to it. Assume you're lying, because there's yeah. no way what you're saying, yeah. reading off the page, can yeah. be true about my religion. You know why? You know why? Because every single scholar, every single alim. Talks about that issue. You're right. Uh, about uh, the scholars okay. do talk about. Can I speak now? Can I speak now? You're right. Can I speak now? I let you speak. No, 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 no. no. You're I let right. You speak. You're right. You can I speak now? You can I speak now? Can I speak now? No, because you're. Can I speak now? No. Okay, so you don't let me speak. I'm go I'm gonna leave because you you holding a monologue. I'm trying to save you. No, you're holding a monologue. Yeah, just mute. I already listened to you. Yeah, you're gonna listen again. You're gonna listen again. This is what your jurisprudence says. Your jurisprudence. What do they say? The issue, the ruling on marrying a young girl. What do your What does they say? Oh, what's the ruling on this? What do they say? It is permissible for a father to marry his young birth daughter without her permission. Not like uh, just to be clear, it's a father giving his daughter a marriage. Not listening to you because you don't listen to me. No worries. This, 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 I'm got, not listening got, to you. Almost, Whatever you say, I'm not listening to you. I got a thousand people in here listening. This isn't for you. Not listening to people. you. No, no, I don't worries. care. You but you're talking Lie. to me. Get out of here. Get out of here. You dis you're dishonest. You're a liar. This isn't for you. I got a thousand people in here watching. So for the thousand people watching this, this is how you deal with the Muslims. When they're dishonest, when they say, Oh, well, let's go to the okay. Let's go to the scholars. Let's call their bluff. Call their bluff. We got the scholars. And we just gonna read. It's permissible for a father to marry off his young daughter without her permission. What do the scholars say? This is in agreement with the four schools of jurisprudence. Hanafi, Malikis, Shafi'i, Hanbalis. There was consensus on that. 